Hey, YouTube, it's Theme Park Bazaar with... This is Bazaar. Good afternoon to you. It's Saturday afternoon and we're in the car already because we are heading down to Disney Springs. Um, the reason we're going down there is twofold. We have a meal later on we'll bring you out with us too, booked. But also, Disney have a special edition 50th pass holder magnet available at the moment, but it's only available to pick up from Disney Springs. You have to come down. And what did you have to do to uh, do that, Max, to get that magnet? Ordered? You just had to go into the uh, Disney app and go to the virtual queues. Um, and then um, they gave you like a, a boarding number when you click on it, like you used to do with Rise of the Resistance. Um, and an estimated time of uh, return. Mm -hmm. um, but as we know... <laughs> yeah, we're using in the car now. We're going to film this intro in the house. But the reason, just like Rise, um, the, 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 the times are like 10 o'clock, one o'clock and five o'clock they give, yeah, you, a, they give you a, a, a time mm. and just like rise as you said i think the original time we were given was 4 30 yeah this afternoon it is now 2 20 to 3 and it's currently 30 minutes till our boarding group yeah. so it's come forward quite a bit now you are allowed an hour mm, after that time to go and pick your magnet up and i'll drop in a map here of where we're going the place is called our what's it called some memories, Disney memories or something. Okay, it's near um, the Art of Animation, it's near the Christmas shop yeah. at that end of Disney Springs. You'll see that there, we'll just put it up in the map. And um, here's a picture of the magnet that we're going to get, and that might be on the thumbnail as well. And so we can get, should be able to get two. Should move those one in each. It, one each. And you can you, only get one each. Normally, you know, the pass holder magnets are sent through the bus, but they don't always turn up, do they? No. <laughs> Not very often. Um, not when they should, but this is only pick up, and I guess it's smart from Disney's point because it's going to get people to go down and spend money while they're waiting for uh, for the magnet to come in. So we'll go down, we'll have a walk around, go pick it up. We're going to park in Saratoga Springs because uh, that's where the meal is tonight, somewhere we've never been before. So we're going to drive down, park in Saratoga Springs, walk across to Disney Springs, and then we're just going to have to find something to do in that extra time, Max, between that we weren't planning. I wonder what we can do. What could we possibly, could we possibly do? Possibly Suggestions do? on a postcard. How long has it been since I kissed you? I don't want to wait. How long has it been since you held me? I don't want to wait. How long has it been since I felt like this? About anything. So that was pretty. That was pretty easy. They didn't uh, just ask for ID. They didn't really check. Did they? They didn't really we had a reservation, check. which we do for later on. So we're going to try and park. You're going to park somewhere down here where Pete and Pippa stayed yeah. down the far end. I can remember. Then it's the it was. closest place to walk into. Just, uh, down the yeah. oh, just blast him, Max. Blast him. I don't think. Turn to get out of the way. It's a, if you've ever stayed here before, it's a huge resort. We didn't know until we met Pete and Pippa here. It's huge, isn't it? It runs yeah. all the way um, around one side and around the other side. Um, if you can remember which way, we went down to reception and then we went down that way, didn't we? This one, next one. Next one? Yeah. Yeah, this is the bus drop off down here. This is past the main reception area, isn't it? This is the main reception area. Right, over there? No, I think it's this building here. Is that it there? I think the restaurant's somewhere in there, the side of there. This is where all the buses take you to all the different parks, just across from the main reception area. And then we've got to drive about five miles down here to uh, get somewhere near Holly can hire bikes, like being at the beach. Didn't see Pete and Pippa in those last time, did you? No. Come on, guys. Exercise. Man, you will be walking. So, yeah, you have to go over here and then over like a bridge, haven't you? Because if you remember last time we walked around this, we walked around the bottom way. But I think we go over the bridge. Congress Park. I think that's where Peter Pippa were down this end, weren't they? Right to the end. Yeah. We know where we're going, don't we? Honest. Oh, Max is going in here. It's the exit down there, isn't it, I think? And then to the, to the left. Yeah, I think that's where Pete and Pippa were. There was somewhere down this end 
and their villa was right at the end um, you could hear springs from it so they were that's why we thought we'd park down here and then I think you should be able to walk through that way if we can find a spot there's one on the end yeah. there's one there there's a few up there is there any in the shade some here really in the shade there there's that one that's in the shade next to the battery powered thing that's the EV I'm going to get next one of them I think it's efficient that one I get one of these next. What's it saying on your thing now? Look at you, check your time, see what it says. It's now 10 to 3. Uh, yes, I can go and pick it up now. All right, it's okay. time. It's time. So we'll go pick it up. I think we're going the right way. Yeah. Can hear it, can hear music. So it looks like looks like one of the boats drop shop here. Right. This must be one. Well, there's a west and an east dock. So that's obviously bringing people from somewhere and dropping them off here. Maybe it's to this resort. Who knows? If you know, comment below. There's paddlefish. There's the springs. So yeah, we've never used the water taxis because we've never stayed here before. Have we? Yeah. So, a lot of people waiting to get on. Most of people are heading into Springs. This must be a Springs drop-off, not rather than a hotel drop-off. This is where the Uber entrance is. Yeah, and your exit. Okay, there we are now. So through security down here. Yep, that's where you're gonna go, isn't it, over there? And there's people all in line to get the magnets. We will be in five minutes. Yep. Once we get through security. Look if we haven't got Lee with us, so we should get through. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. Hopefully. Go through the Christmas shop, it's probably the quickest way to get around. We have to get in here and get in line. So you get a QR code when you press the get code button, don't you? Yeah. Once your time is up and then they scan it on an iPad. Right, decided it's not doing up now. It's okay. And I need a scans the QR code and then they let you in line to go get your magnet which is in here see them all on the table in there all stacked up had my ID but they didn't ask for it did they? no it'll be uh, three o'clock what we're gonna do Max we've got three hours before we eat There we go, there it is, very efficient process, isn't it? Just be aware, um, I left my phone behind. I was gonna use that. You tried to use, um, you had your physical card with you, yeah. or your magic band works okay. If you try and do it on the phone, um, what do you call it, the app? Yeah. The Disney app. Um, it doesn't always scan in. So what we had to do, she had to show us to go into the profile, and then you to manually read out the number that's associated with my magic band. Yeah. So that you could actually type it in an iPad, so this, look at your picture, you type in either scan your magic band, your card, or type in the ID before you can get a magnet. Oh, just make sure you bring your card with you. Well, it's to be fair, easier. yeah, a card or a phone. And <laughs> yeah. to, to be fair, um, I had my phone, but this, these pants have got this new secret thing which is called a... Text pocket. A secret technology pocket, and it's so secret that I forgot to put my phone in. <laughs> the secret pocket, or it's fallen out the bottom somewhere. <laughs> I better check it has not got a hole in it, and I've lost it. No, no. So uh, that must be at home somewhere yeah. when we're wishing to get out. So we have these and we now have um, three hours to kill. To kill. Before, Let's uh, go back home again. We, we, go back, we, we could go back, back home, home and come back in again. Oh, do you want to go around Springs? And yeah, see if you, we'll see, you're still trying to get that bag, aren't you? That, um, yeah, the 50th The Loungefly 50th backpack that you've been unable to get since we I got here. I don't think I get it. So, different stuff I've not seen before. Got the other shirts over here. The other shirts? Oh, yeah, the ones with the star. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ones we saw. They have an extra large as well. Oh, they're nice those, aren't they? Yeah. 60 bucks, right? Yeah, these are different. What's in these, are you? No, just a t-shirt though. That's smart. 
facing it. And these, I haven't seen these on the end. You've seen these on the Galaxy. Okay, so for Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Fly. Please, you haven't seen, maybe it's just the back end, see. You've seen those before. So you saw her in a world of Disney. Max is looking for a bag. Again. These are not the bags you're looking for. Are they? No, they're not. A few more things back in stock now, though. The other one I was after. That way. Castle in the middle. So these are the ones Max was after originally that were sold out, weren't they? How much are they? I haven't looked yet. <laughs> 65. I'm going to send them shirts. You need a fleece in Orlando. And uh, that's why I didn't buy it. Nice though. Well, the hood's got it all inside as well, look. And then. Uh, all lined. I guess the whole thing is lined if the hood is. Oh, it's just the hood. Shirt then? Uh, yeah, it was real. If you're getting a shirt, I'm getting a shirt. Sorry. If you're spending $60, it's only fair. It's only fair. What you can do in the store as well is use the uh, electronic checkout, can't you? Yeah. So just do it online. Uh, let's go and see uh, these Star Wars shirts again when we came in. Over there. <laughs> can't even get around with a dress like that, can you? Large. I've XL at the back as well. So it is large, US large. <laughs> Bit. Don't forget you won't have your other t-shirt then. Yeah. Large better. Yeah. So Max are gonna show you how to check these out on the app in the store. Uh, yeah. Shopping store. Well it is there. The bag is empty, it's kinda nice though. So much easier than getting in line, wasn't it? So much easier than getting in line. In terms of sort of things out. 
So if we go and get a drink now, we've spent all his money. Yes. Yeah, we're head back over to the volcano. I think there's a bar yeah. under the volcano, lava bar or something we've never been to before. Jumbo, jumbo. It's got the normal vodka and diet coke. It's very pretty here though, isn't it? So we've finished our cocktails, haven't we, Max? Yeah. We've got a bite to eat as well, just a snack. We're going to walk around uh, Springs for a bit and we'll slowly make our way back towards uh, Saratoga Springs. I would say they were suffering a bit from lack of staff there, weren't they, Max? They were, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they tried the hardest, but uh, they were well down on staff there, having to turn lots of, and it's similar in a lot of restaurants in uh, Orlando at the moment, sure, around the world after COVID, but they were turning people away, weren't they? Not seating people and, you know, quite a while to get served, have to ask for refills, but they're doing the best. It's just tough times at the moment in the restaurants here. And I'm sure if you're coming over here on holiday, you'll experience that as well. So just be patient with people. They are trying the best, but they are uh, very short of staff everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Bring your patience with you. Yeah, bring your patience with you you're in the parks and outside the parks, actually. Few more uh, drinks. We're heading into Stargazers, which last time we was with Nick and no, Darren and Rob, wasn't it? Darren and Rob. Yeah, going to try and see what they got for happy hour. Did you sit at the bar? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah sit at the bar table. What do you want to do? You have happy hour. Happy hour, yes, sir. Okay, great. Good. How are you? Good. Good. What do we have on a happy hour? You do uh, any of our draft beers, the house red and white wine, and single shots of the well liquors for five dollars. I'll have, have a... that going on uh, four to seven every day. Can I get a single shot bocker and diet coke? Bocker and diet. Coke? Yep. Can I get a single shot bocker and diet? Bocker and diet. I thought you weren't drinking anymore. Yeah, well, it's only a single. Oh, yes, that's why I married him. So this is underneath Planet Hollywood, around the back, if you uh, want to come in here. And as you saw on the sign, uh, Happy Hour is four to seven. Journey. No live music, we might sing later on. I know. So some of the cocktails down and we're now going to try and get on the boat I think over to uh, Saratoga aren't we? Yeah. So I looked online and we should be able to go down here to the end and there should be a dock, yeah there's a dock here with a boat that takes you over. We've got about um, 
30 minutes until our meal reservation. There should be a dock here with a boat that comes to take you over to Saratoga Springs. It's like it shut down. We may have to walk. Yeah, we may have to walk back the uh, old fashioned way or walk around the path there, as you say. But I would say, looking at this, we've got no boats coming in here. We try and walk around that way. Yep, that's closed completely. No chance of us getting anything around there. So there's a 10 minute walk this way, so we'll try going this way, that's a bit muddy. It's gonna be muddy, we've had no rain. It's muddy. Guess we kind of follow this path around, around the car park and on that grass over there. Yeah, so that blew our plans of some nicer, pretty shots from the boat. So we're eating, what is it called, Max? The turf... Bar and grill. Turf bar and grill which um, says it's about a 10 minute walk from here. And we'll cross the bridge, cross the water, and uh, go and find the restaurant. Well, I think it's inside uh, Saratoga Springs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you've eaten there before, comment below uh, for our first time. But we will uh, give it a try, see what it's like. Two way traffic. Be a rebel, Max, go on that side, go on, be a rebel. Look at her, look at her. Three cocktails, she's a rebel. Look at the boats. Yeah, this is where we waited before to get a lift to uh, Pete and Pippa's, wasn't it? There's a golf cart that took us over to uh, Pete and Pippa's room yeah. last time. So hopefully we can just turn right when we get here and take us into the main entrance. I'm sure if we go in this main entrance here we'll find it. Nope, we should go that way. It's like you walked into a restaurant area, haven't you? There you go. Yep, turf club. It's like um Bar and grill. And no masks needed. Start checking. So do you have a bar out here in the seating area for the restaurant, which is quite good. But I think we've had enough drinks for now. Maybe one with the meal. Max may have an appetizer and a dessert because she fancies a dessert. And we'll fit an appetizer into her plan to have a dessert, is that correct? Maybe. Yeah. Unless they'll let me have a children's meal. We'll see. Now I'm full, if it's cheaper, no problem. Thank you. So most of the cocktails here are about fourteen to sixteen dollars. That's kind of average. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got a paper menu because I forgot my phone, as you know. You can't do anything with a QR code when you have no phone. I'm fancying this carrot filled and a log and a, and, a, and a, this one. Ooh, specialty drinks. Club Cosmo Max. There also is outdoor seating as well. If you'd have come here, you could probably request that. It's quite nice out there on the patio. Watch the boats go past on the on the river. But we are uh, have a romantic table for two windows, don't we, Max? It's very dark out there, so we've got lights on. Yeah. yeah it was dark. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to upset Maxine in the carrot filled aganoli, which is house made aganoli pasta, carrot puree, royal trumpet and mitake mushrooms, and truffle onion cream. What are you having, Max? Okay, what have you done with my husband? What? Where have you put him? What have you done with Barry? What are you having? I don't know yet, so they let me have a children's menu. Yeah, Max wants to see if we can get a children's menu order. Yeah. And then dessert. She's going to get that, she can get a dessert. 
So Max can't order off the children's menu, they want letter. So we're going to get the charcuterie board. Is that the right word? Charcuterie. Was it what? Charcuterie board. The charcuterie board to start with. Then Max have dessert and then I'll probably have the um, carrot filled aginoli. <laughs> Lee, you are a bad influence. So we've got some house made. What are they, Max? Brioche rolls, made rolls to start with, some house made rolls to start with, which are warm. Left a bit there, and some is that garlic butter? No idea. We'll find out. Would well, you know wait till you've had the charcuterie first? We'll, we'll try the yeah, and see how we feel after that. We'll have a main course or dessert, we don't know. Or more, more drinks. It's a bit garlicky, it's not too overpowering, is it? Not like the garlic ones we had last, last week. Say again. Not like the garlic. It won't really pass, it? Not like the garlic rolls we had last week. Well, you went out two weeks in a row. <laughs> you went out two weeks in a row? Mm -hmm. No, we did. A bit cheaper last week. Yeah. <laughs> and they were bottomless. Bottomless. Oh, yeah. So this is a sharing dish. It's $22. Oh, they have crackers here, there's a cracker. Can you charcuterie, which are some meats, and meats, and cheese, and cheese, and cheese, and olives, and some crackers. It's not bad though, I think I'm, we're just going to go for dessert after this. I might just go for dessert as well, because I'm quite full of alcohol and food. So I got the cheesecake. Which is kind of a traditional cheesecake, but Mike's got the creme brulee. Look it at was, that. It was um, passion fruit creme brulee. You sure it's liquid that? It's pretty spoony. Mm -hmm. I think it's chocolate. It's liquid in the bottom. I've never seen a creme brulee that's liquid in the bottom. Is that chocolate? It is chocolate. So yeah, we went straight from the charcuterie board to dessert. We skipped the main course. So what are you thinking of the chocolate and the creme brulee, Max? It's very rich. Mm -hmm. Very, very rich. I prefer just a regular one. Good so Maxine has double checked the menu. What does it say, Max? So it's passion fruit, mango, passion fruit, creme brulee, it's chocolate sauce, fresh, ra fresh raspberries, raspberry beet gel. That's it. Max is paying tonight. What's the damage, Max? $53. Uh, same class as Bill Belichick. Thank you, Max, for treating me. We finished our meal? We did. What do you think? Well, actually, um, I do feel sorry for the couple behind us because you know the um, stereotypical, obnoxious American loud. loud couple? We had them behind us, didn't we? Who uh, wanted to make friends with everybody and talk to everybody, and everybody was their best friend, and they knew where they were from, and they had a friend from that state. And apparently, um, I learned something new, apparently the French onion soup they had was all dependent on the type of onions you have. Mm. That's what we're telling everybody. Mm. Mm. So unfortunately we had those behind us, so we were very happy to get out and we smiled at the people we left behind. Yeah, the poor people. Yeah, so what do you think of the, uh, what's it called, the turf? It was okay. Club. Yeah? It was quite nice. Yeah, for a special meal maybe. Mm. I would think if uh, like um, Pete and Pippa rode ways away. Or um, Andrew and Gaz, the Kershaw's Adventures. Or even Mr. David Mystery and wanted to treat us out <laughs> to a night there. We'd eat there again, wouldn't we? Of course, yeah. Yeah, it was very good. It was very good. Figment, figment, figment. So I can hear with the <laughs> Andrew and Gaz. So yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was okay. It was quite expensive. It was, it was a slightly yeah, Disney. Yeah. It was an elevated experience, it was nice, it was um Like I say, for a special meal it was quite, yeah. it had been quite nice. But so if, but you've got to be hungry. Yeah. I just I feel like I'm in uh what do you call it, an Epcot in uh It's supposed to be a United Kingdom. United Kingdom pavilion. No the uh yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, um, if people want to take us out there, we'd be more than willing to go back, wouldn't we? <laughs> but it's just okay. I mean, we're not. If you've eaten here before, or eaten there before, I should say, let us know. We're just sat in the rear reception area, you know, the BBC area. That's where they play all this fancy music. Fancy. It's a bit fancy. A bit fancy, but um, yeah, I think Pete and Pippa like it because they're fancy. <laughs> they like fancy stuff. But, yeah, it's very good, very good. So um, I hope you enjoyed our uh, evening in Disney Springs. Obviously, we didn't film everything because we were too busy drinking and eating. But um, yeah, it was good. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Uh, give, us a, give us a thumbs up. Put your comments below. Try and respond to all your comments. And we will see you later.